Bold and beautiful, 4766, 2-8-2006. Stephanie, we have to make some kind of a decision about Felicia's funeral. No. No? What do you no mean? No services. And no obituaries either. Our daughter's accomplishments deserve to be recognized. She said her goodbyes in private. And now it's our turn to say goodbye to her. You know, we all need closure. Didn't you do that with the champagne? That was, those were Felicia's last wishes. Well, you went along with it. Because I loved her enough Don't to do grant that. her that wish. Don't talk about loving her in the past tense. I love her now, I lo still love her, and I always will. And we all will. A funeral won't change that. I don't want to get into this. I, I have things that I have to Stephanie, take care of. Stephanie, talk to me. I don't even know where she, where Felicia's body is, what, what mortuary. I don't... I'm taking care of all of that. Well, you don't have to take care of it all alone. I can help you. I don't want any help, all right? Stephanie, stop. Look, just stop. I know what you're doing. You can avoid me, the family. You can disappear for days, but you cannot avoid what's happened to Felicia. Look, I know. I know you wanted more time with her, and that she was your little girl, and that you loved her. We all did. But she's gone now. You have to accept that. The hell I do. Hello, Nick. Hey. I've been thinking, and I've decided to forgive you. Oh. You forgive me. Yep. I've decided I'm just going to wash it all out of my mind. <laughs> Not with alcohol, I hope. No, 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 no. Never going to touch this stuff again, promise. Nick, this really isn't funny. I agree it's not funny, especially the part about Taylor. What you saw, now you know me. And you know I like blondes. Oh, yes, I do know that. I'm not trying to pressure here or anything. You know, you take all your time with your space and your thinking, but there are a lot of blondes in L.A. You just remember that. Okay. I'll remember. Oh, sorry. Felicia was an incredible woman. Ma'am, ma'am, she was. How are you doing? I'm all right. Yeah. Stephanie, I'm worried about. She's avoiding the family. She's, she's keeping to herself. She's, she's doing God knows what. She, she won't even let anybody help with, with the funeral arrangements, and now she says she doesn't want a funeral at all. No funeral? No, she says. 
is not what Felicia would have wanted. I don't know. But I think it's something else. What? I think it's... It's that if she doesn't acknowledge what's happened to Felicia, it's as if it never happened at all. I'm getting a lot of pressure from my husband about the service. They're just trying to process what happened. He feels the family needs closure. And you don't agree? I don't know. I mean, how do you accept the death of a child? You just sit back and... I can't do that. I just can't do that, and I won't. Everyone confronts these issues in their own way. You know, my daughter has a little boy, baby. What am I supposed to tell him when he's all grown up? That I just stepped back and I didn't... I didn't do anything? I just let her die? This is becoming standard operating procedure for you. You mess up, you get caught, you come over to do damage control. There is no damage to control, Brooke, at least not yet. No damage? Look... Nothing was happening between me and Nick last night, okay? No one got hurt. But if you go in, you start saying things to Ridge. You and Ridge aren't even married anymore. Yeah, yeah, but, but Nick and Ridge are still brothers. And their relationship is already strained enough as it is that if you say something, I mean, you'll just make it worse. Oh. So you're concerned about Ridge's relationship with Nick. And, and the children. I mean, they're still not over the fact that their parents just got divorced, all right? And if they see that there's something wrong between Nick and Ridge, they'll know that. They'll see that they're angry and they just don't need any more trauma in the family. You should have thought about that, Taylor, before you got all liquored up and fell into bed with Ridge's brother. My God, what is going on with you lately? First you're kissing Hector, and now this. Do you really have to ask? Brooke, I really haven't been the same since Ridge walked out on me to go for you. Oh, no, no, no. No, you're not going to blame this on me. No. No, I'm not. Just like you shouldn't be blaming Nick. Brooke, I know he loves you. And I just don't think you should deprive yourself of that love because of one ridiculous misunderstanding. Mm. I know what this is all about. Your sudden concern for my love life. You think if I forgive Nick, that leaves Ridge open for you. That's what this is all about, isn't it, Taylor? I am not here for anything. Are you telling me you don't want Ridge back? Brooke, what I want doesn't matter right now. That's not why I'm here. I'm here because I'm trying to tell you that I know that Nick loves you with all his heart. And if you were over there at the boat last night because you wanted to tell him that you wanted to start a life with him, I just don't want you to let what you think you saw stop you. Because you couldn't stand it if you stood between me and a man that loves me. Oh, please. Because I know what you've sacrificed to let Bridget be with Nick in the past. You're not going to say a word of this to Bridget. She's not going to find out from me that I found you in bed with Nick. Well, if you say something to Ridge... Th I'm not going to say anything to anybody. You're not. I'm not doing this to protect you. I'm doing this to protect my daughter. I know how much she loves Nick. How much she sacrificed to give him up. And she would be devastated to find out that the night he left her, he was rolling around on the wharf with you. Well, I think that's a good decision, then, for everybody. I don't really care what you think. Last night was a wake-up call for you, Taylor. So you better pull yourself together. 
or else this behavior is going to land you in a situation that you're not going to be able to talk your way out of. It's understandable, Stephanie not wanting to accept Felicia's death. But to deny your child a memorial service? But Jackie, she... She won't even tell me which funeral home she's using. That is very odd. Yeah, well, it's Stephanie, you know. The more anxious she gets about any given situation, the more control she needs to exert. She's obviously just beside herself. Yeah, she is. It's like she's blaming all of us for letting Felicia die. No, you did everything that you could. Yes, yes. Yeah, we did. As you know, Stephanie, she, uh... She doesn't know when to quit. Felicia was ready to go. Stephanie just wasn't ready to let her. Mrs. Forster, I want to assure you that your daughter is in very good hands. We're giving her our full attention. Thank you. These are very difficult times for you and your family. But you can take comfort in knowing that Felicia's resting peacefully now. I want to see her. No, I'm probably the last person you want to see right now. Nick, I am sorry for all the trouble I caused. You didn't cause me any trouble. Well, I shouldn't have come over here. I should have let Chuck come back and put me in a cab or something. You know, a good bartender should be there behind the bar helping his patrons. No. We'll blame it on him. It's my responsibility. I know that. And if I could fix it, I would. You know, it'd probably be best if, if I handle this situation with Brooke myself. Brooke still loves you. Well, I hope so. Well, I, I know that an apology doesn't always fix everything, but I am sorry. And that's, uh... That's all I came to say. Hey. Don't go yet. Hey, I, I can't let you take the rap all alone here, you know. I, uh, I screwed up, too. No, you said you wanted to come back here and you wanted to be alone, and I followed you. You didn't have anywhere to go. Oh, I should have gone home. Well, me too, but I chose to stay at the bar and drink. No, you were in a lot of pain because you just thought you saw someone you love being unfaithful. But whatever. I mean, we were drunk. That's it. Well, that's no excuse. It does explain a lot. Nick, I didn't know that I was going to say or do a lot of the things I did when I was here last night. Well, tequila does have that effect on people. Well, it wasn't just the alcohol. It was you. I mean, knowing that there was somebody else out there who was in the same pain I was, and knowing that there was someone out there who would actually understand what I was going through. Yeah, well, you know, 
Misery does love company. Oh, well, if that's the case, I must be the most popular woman in the world. Ugh, can't be that bad. Can I explain something to you, Nick? Ever since Reg left, I... I've been spiraling down. Last night was not the first time I had too much to drink. My father had a lot of trouble with alcohol after my mom passed away, and... I, I know what kind of tragedies that alcohol can cause in a family, and... You know, I'm, I'm really... I'm really starting to think that maybe I'm... Maybe I'm getting dependent on it, and I, I'm, really, I'm really scared. I'm, I'm, God, I'm really scared. Hey, 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 hey. Shh, 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 come on. You know, I'm just trying to drink away the pain, and it's not working. It's always there. At least it was. It was constant, except for that one moment. What moment? Look, I... I know last night was a mistake, but I, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. There were those few moments when I was in your arms, when you were holding me, and I don't know what it was, but like everything was all right. Something, something changed, something happened. I don't know what it was, I can't explain it, but for those few moments, the pain was gone. You can get closer if you like. There's no danger of contamination. When will you begin the procedure? As soon as the paperwork is finalized. My daughter has a little baby boy. I know I've told you that. I guess what I'm trying to convey is that she has so much to live for. My daughter does not want to die. Well, hopefully a liver transplant will give her some more time. But as I explained, we must get the cancer under control first with chemo. Can I have a... Is it all right if I have some time alone with her? Oh, of course. Thank you. It was thready, but it was still a pulse, and so that's why I brought you here. I know you wanted to go peacefully, Felicia. I know. I know. What I'm about to put you through will be anything but that. Hear me and trust me. 
If this works, it will buy you time. I don't know how much time, but time, time to be. I know you want a time to be with the baby. I know that. I know you want to be 